ओके नमो बुद्धाय दिस इज अभिनव एंड आई वेलकम यू इन दिस वीडियो आई एम शेयरिंग माय लर्निंग्स फ्रॉम मिडिल डिस्कोसिस 81 दिस इज विद घतिकारा द टाइटल ऑफ द डिस्कोस इज घतिकारा सूत्र राइट द लिंक टू द एंटायर डिस्कोस इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग डिस्कोस सो आई एम शेयरिंग द माई माई की लर्निंग्स हेयर इन दिस वीडियो ओके सो वॉट हैपन वॉज द कॉन्टेक्स वॉज दैट बुद्ध वॉज वैंड्रिंग इन द लैंड ऑफ द कोसलन्स and uh, together with a large sangha of mendicants and then the buddha left the road and then at a certain point he smiled buddha smiled at a certain point when he was walking uh, at a point in the road so venerable ananda who was walking with siddha uh, with uh, buddha said thought what is the cause why a buddha would not smile just like anything there must be a cause behind that so, so he asked buddha that why are you smiling why did you smile at that time so buddha said once upon a time anand there was a market town in this spot named vebalinga it was successful and prosperous full of people and kasappa a blessed one a perfected one a fully awakened buddha lived supported by vebalinga it was here that he had his monastery so buddha since he could recollect uh, across time and space he could recollect that at that point uh, there was where what uh, uh, an earlier buddha named kasappa so there are said to be like 24 or something buddhas all buddhas buddha siddhart gautama the is the buddha of our time but there have been many many fully awakened buddhas before him and so he said that uh, uh, kasappa uh, the buddha kasappa was there at that time uh, in in this place and he was supported by this uh, town called devaling and uh, so anand wanted to know more so buddha told him Uh, uh, told him uh, the fact that buddha kasappa had a chief supporter in vebalinga uh, uh, a potter named ghatikara so buddha kasappa had a supporter chief like uh, uh, siddhat gautama had the supporter in form of ananda who took care of all his needs in the time of buddha kasappa his supporter was vebalinga uh, his supporter was ghatikara now ghatikara had a friend named jyotipala who was a brahmin student right and and so ghatikara addressed jyotipala now buddha is recollecting that thing at that time what would happen ghatikara asked jyotipala come jyotipala let's go and see the blessed one kasappa the perfected one the fully awakened buddha for i deem it holy to see the blessed one right so there is this in the hinduism there is this thing called darshan right that uh, if you see uh, the holy one there is a merit in that so he said uh, ghatikara said come let's go and visit the fully awakened buddha and uh, jyotipala said jyotipala said enough dear gatika what's the use of seeing that shaveling that fake ascetic so he was not uh, kind of uh, wanted to go to meet the kasappa buddha so he convinced 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 there is a whole thing of you know maybe 10 20 30 times he convinced him and finally he he took his uh, hand uh, his hair in the hand uh, gatikara took the jyotipala's hair in his hand and then jyotipala said that there is definitely some there will be something in kasappa that that uh, gatikara is insisting so much to meet him so he said okay let's go so gatikara went to gatikara and jyotipala both went to the buddha kasappa and gatikara said sir this is my dear friend jyotipala a brahmin student please teach him the dhamma right then buddha kasappa educated encouraged fire up and inspired gatikara and jyotipala with a dhamma talk buddha kasappa gave a dhamma talk to them and then Uh, what happened was that jyotipala said ghatikara you have heard this teaching why don't you become a monastic and uh, under uh, under uh, 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 buddha kasappa so ghatikara said no uh, dear jyotipala uh, i have my, to look after my blind old parents that's why so jyotipala so uh, jyotipala who was like he did not want to come to meet uh, buddha kasappa suddenly with the dhamma talk and all his mind changed he said no i am ready to go and uh, henceforth i will go from lay life to homelessness so he became a, a monastic under buddha kasappa right so so he said so gatikara took him to jyotipala and said he wants to be a monastic so uh, so jyotipala got ordinated into the buddha kasappa's fold right now buddha is talking about more things that uh, after a fortnight buddha kasappa headed over to vanarasi and uh, king kiki of kasi heard that he had arrived so he 
he went up to meet the uh, Buddha and he said, please accept tomorrow's meal from me. And Buddha Kasapa con consented. So then he said, so once they had the meal, so, so they said that, uh, 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 he said, uh, there's some more uh, thing that he said that, uh, uh, Kiki said, I am just forget, uh, I have just forgot to note it down. Yeah, so uh, King Kiki, what he said is that, okay, please stay uh, with, with us for the rains retreat, say, stay here. right? So he said, no, we have already accepted an invitation from someone else. So uh, the King Kiki was uh, upset, was sad and upset. So, and he asked the Buddha Kasapa, sir, do you have any other supporter better than me? Right? You know, he, so he was comparing his devotion to the uh, other, uh, some other person, checking whether there is someone else who kind of supports better. So, uh, so uh, Buddha Kasapa said, uh, Great King, there is a market town named Vebhulinga, where there is a potter named Ghatikara. He is my chief supporter. Now, Great King, uh, you will think Buddha does not accept my inv invitation to recite for the rains in Varanasi and you will become sad and upset. But Ghatikara doesn't ups get upset nor will he. That means Ghatikara, if, like you uh, get upset uh, no, by I not accepting your invitation, Ghatikara doesn't get upset. Now, understand this, this next para is the core of the teaching, core of the, uh, this sutta. Uh, what uh, like uh, virtues that uh, B uh, Buddha Kasapa was sharing about a devout lay, lay follower and we can also take out something uh, in our life right? from this. Ghatikara has gone for refuge to the Buddha, the teaching and the Sangha, right? So basically what? He has gone, taken the three refuges, the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha. He doesn't kill living, so he follows the precepts. He doesn't kill living creatures, steal, commit sexual misconduct, lie or take alcoholic drinks that cause negligence. He has experiential confidence in the Buddha, the teaching and the Sangha. Who has expression confidence? It's basically the noble ones, right? There is this noble ones who have the experiential confidence in the Buddha, the teaching and the Sangha and that is one of the kind of qualities for stream entry. If you want to enter the stream of enlightenment of Nibbana, these are the like the essential prerequisites and has the ethics loved by the Loban ones. He is free, free of doubt regarding suffering, its origin, cessation and the practice that leads. So he is free of doubt. That means he was on his path. He is not completely liberated, but he is doesn't have any doubt. That, you know, generally we are like having the doubt whether this teaching is good or not. He is free from that doubt, right? He eats in one part of the day. Now, there comes some additional precepts, right? Now, as a lay follower, Buddha only says five precepts. No killing, no stealing, no lying, no uh, sexual misconduct, no drinking. But here, Buddha is talking about some more precepts. What Ghatika follows, Ghatikara follows. He eats only one part of the day. He is celibate, ethical or a good, good character, right? Only one part of the day. So generally monastics, they eat by, by noon time. Right? Then they don't eat it. Uh, so Buddha always encouraged this practice of eating at one part of the day, which is from a health point of view also, it's very good. So he eats at one part of the day. He's celibate. That means no sexual activity. Otherwise, Buddha has always said for lay followers, no sexual misconduct. But here, Buddha is saying no sexual activity. He has set aside gems and gold and rejected gold and money. So basically he has set aside all the financial kind of, you know, uh, transactions and everything. He has put down the shovel and doesn't dig the earth. So as a mendicant, they, they generally don't dig the earth because it harms the living creatures, insects. He takes what has crumbled off by the river bank or has been dug up by mice and brings it back in a carrier. When he has made a pot, he says, anyone may leave bagged sesame, moon beans or chickpeas here and take what they wish. So basically what he has done, he has done away with the whole transaction, contractual transaction economy. He has simply just created a, a, a kind of a pot and whatever he gets, he puts it into a pot and someone can take out from that pot voluntarily. And if someone wants to put something on the pot, they can put in the pot. So that kind of an economy he has done. He looks after his blind own parents. So Buddha is also insisting this very fact, taking after your family. Right? So that he is also doing. And since he has ended the five lower fetters, five lower chains that bind us uh, to this existence, Ghatikara will be reborn spontaneously 
and will become extinguished there not liable to return from that world so he will become a non returner non returner so there are various stages of awakening stream entry once returner non returner arahant so he has achieved like the third stage he will never have to come back again in this existence after death he will be reborn in that world and from there he will achieve full enlightenment full arahantship right and uh, so then one buddha continues to share that at one time uh, uh, basically buddha kasapa is sharing to the king that uh, i was staying in the market town and i robed up in the morning went to the kathikara's parents and finding where has he gone he said their parents said your supporter has gone out but take the rice from the pot and the sauce from the pan and eat so buddha he ate it and took and when he came back kathikara he said i am so fortunate that he trusts me so much and this happened two three times and uh, once what happened was buddha kasapa's hut was leaking so he addressed the mendicants go to kathikara's home and find some grass and they went and uh, this they said sir, sir there is no grass there but the workshop whatever his workshop has it has a grass roof so buddha kasapa said strip off the grass go to the workshop and strip off the grass when kathikara came home and he found that the grass has gone and uh, he came to know that buddha had, ta- had taken away the grass and he was very considered himself very fortunate so much that i am trusted by buddha's knowledge buddha's kasapa then basically the workshop remained with the sky for a roof for the whole three months with no rain and that is great king is what ghatikara the potter is like the potter was com- considered at that time to be very menial kind of a job but buddha is kasapa is highlighting the kind of a virtues that still having this potter's job being a lay follower right see lay follower life is difficult because you have to take care of you no know, living and everything also you are not a full time monastic still he is following all these precepts he is taking care of his parents he has very strong devotion reverence to the buddha and this is like buddha was trying to show him that king uh, i just said that i cannot come to your rains retreat and you are feeling bad look at gatikara and he won't feel bad right so then what happened is king tiki knowing that you know he is so much uh, a kind of mature and spiritually mature he sent 500 cart loads of rice saffron rice suitable sauces to ghatikara and ghatikara said king has many duties i have enough let this be for the king himself that means he didn't even take those those rice and everything that the king has sent he had that much depth in him right so so that is like kind of a uh, a uh, you know the the gold standard for a lay follower which which is coming out in this discourse so definitely there are points which all of us can take away from this and uh, and now this is the very interesting thing that uh, then buddha this is the siddhat gautama the buddha said anand uh, from this story you might think surely the brahmin's student um, jyotipala must have been some someone uh, someone else at that time right but you should not see it like that i myself was a student jyotipala at that time so this is where buddha is saying that that student jyotipala the brahmin student who ref- who was didn't want to come he was saying to buddha kasapa that you know why i go to that fake ascetic why what's the point he was the buddha at the, in that particular lifetime and then he took the ordination under buddha buddha kasapa so this is a very very interesting very uh, clear kind of a discourse on Uh, how we should live our life as a lay follower uh, whatever to the extent that we can do so i hope so it's kind of uh, some use to you uh, do share your thoughts in the comment section uh, namo buddhaye namo buddhaye